Hey everybody, it's me again, Kale. Here once more playing Visions of Mana. Last time we left off... Yeah, we kind of fucked up. Um, Oren came around at night asking, uh, Do you want to not die? And Hina having some concerns over the whole, you know, being a sacrifice thing, which... Fair. Agreed. And Val, being the good guy that he is, went along with her. And Orin used Val's power to sacrifice her, turn her into a cornerstone, and is now going off to fulfill his destiny of becoming the Dark Lord. At least that's my assumption. Uh, and Val's taking it, admittedly, as hard as you expect to take, having been one facet of why the person you love is now dead. And now there are side quests all over the place. People want stuff from me, and I'm not going to tell them no. But we have begun Val's Dark Knight arc. Uh, or at least as dark as I can make him, which is apparently water. When water is your darkest option. You need more options. <laughs> Just got back home from a trip to Ledgus Bay when I realized I didn't have my house key. I only imagine I dropped it somewhere in Ledgus. Uh, I'd go back and look myself, but I'm far too tired now. Hey, Taz, can you go to Ledgus Bay and look at my house key? Yeah, sure, man. I got nothing better to do. I've lost my entire purpose in life now. But at least my abs are still great. Yeah, I can see. I got a good view of them from down here. Yeah. Hi. Uh, pardon me. Are you interested in ancient ruins by any chance? They're not the ones that are surrounded by, like, level 55 creatures, are they? Because eh, I'm not that interested. My name is Fuyin. Fuyu. Sorry. That was an N. I'm a historian, you see. My specialist... Subject is the civilization of the past, of the ancient past. I simply love seeking out their unexplored ruins. Through my research, I've discovered that their ancient settlements once dotted the world. I'd dearly love to visit them all. And as you may surmise, this entails a rather lot of travel. And should one wish to travel, a skirmish or two with some monsters is nigh unavoidable. The problem, you see, is that I'm not much of a fighter. And after my last foray, I have the scars to prove it. But you, on the other hand, I can tell you were a seasoned traveler from a mile off. You can't deny it. I don't know. I can't even protect the ones I love. Moping aside, as, as for where you come in, well, there are eight ruins out there in the world, and I need you to find them in my stead. You turn your nose up at the thought, I promise you that there's a reward should you succeed. That's what the last guy excited about ancient history told me too, and now my girlfriend's dead. You suddenly got a lot of baggage, so you know what? No deadline, just uh... Whenever you can get to it, buddy. Ooh, I picked the wrong guy, didn't I? He's still a golden retriever, but he is a sad sack. Uh, who wanted my help down here? Excuse me? Hello? Oh, well, somebody does. Uh, hello? Taking this? <laughs> At least he's still upbeat about his, uh, his looting. Oh, hey there, sir. Uh, hey, you got a minute? Can I ask you to relay a message to the lighthouse attendant in Pritter Ridge? My name, his name's Neil. I need you to tell him that my stomach has been bothering me all day. I'll be late for my shift. See, I'm also a lighthouse attendant. I'm due to take over for him at Pritter Ridge, but with this sudden stomach pain, I don't think I'll be able to make it in time. As soon as it settles down, I'll make my way over. That's a lot to ask, but if you can do me this favor, I'd really, really appreciate it. Alright, buddy, I fucking guess. 
Hey, did you want to hear about how my girlfriend's dead? No. No. Oh. Yeah, that's fair. But I I got side quested too. God damn it, Val. It's fine. Can I at least buy some equipment? I don't think I've ever gotten a new big sword. Welcome. What will it be? See, that's not bad, but I could just wait for the next new big sword. Thank you for coming. Or maybe get a free one. Anyway, let's go to the place where, you know, we had a nice little romantic meeting and, and mope for a while. This seems like a good moping spot. If only I didn't have this stupid power. Ah, there's the moping I was hoping for. If only... If only someone else had been chosen as the soul guard. Oof. Hina, I... I'm so sorry. Damn you are, Val. Hey, giant Hard rabbit to find man. A -tier view than the ocean. <laughs> Coming too. Feels like your heart naturally matches the rhythm of the waves. I'd find Morley out here when I first took him in. He wasn't used to city life, but he liked the sea. He did, huh? Back then, Morley felt responsible for the fall of Etern. So much guilt for such a small boy. You probably see what I'm trying to get at here. When it got really bad, I would give Morley things to do. Odd jobs, errands, you name it. Makes sense. Whether it was Gives helping with some of the younger children or traveling with me to distant markets, I put him to work. Even introduced him to Milpa. Anything to give him a sense of community. I wanted Morley to learn more about himself and find a path of his own. It won't be easy, but you can't let this terrible accident close off your emotions. Sure, you could try to forget all about Hina, and your powers, and the part you played in this tragedy. God, this would be but so much more, uh... Nothing. ...impactful if he wasn't constantly saying fucking you. ...to face what's in your own heart. God. My heart? I don't know how his voice actor kept a straight face. That's why fighting prowess is only a small part of what you need to become a soul guard. What matters most is your heart. And the will to carry on, for the sake of a bright future. I... Although, it's not my place to force Mew into a mission Mew can't stomach anymore. I suppose if you're out of commission, then the alms will just have to find their own way. By themselves, all on their lonesome. They'll probably die. Course, the road to the mana tree is full of monsters and inhospitable terrain, so... A I was joking, would be useful. Niccolo. But Morley and the others can hold their own against all those ferocious enemies. Probably. Probably? What are you talking about? Karina? This pilgrimage is doomed from the start without our soul guard. So Hina's core stone was stolen. So what? We're just gonna have to steal it back. Without you and Hina's help, I never would have gotten this far in the first place. I won't abandon you both now. Don't forget, you're not just our soul guard, Val. You are our friend and companion. Yay! This isn't a journey you have to complete alone. We're in this together. Precisely. I would wish for none other than you to bid us a fond farewell at the end of our arduous. Well, now hold on. Please, Look, I'm still on board for finding a so solution to, to that. This campaign with the rest of us. Thank you. Just saying, there's a middle ground between sacrificing Hina and sacrificing all of you. All of you. Thank you, Val. <laughs> But yes, first things first, let's, let's, 
let's get Val back on his game. I shouldn't be asking any favors, but Oren has Hina's core stone, and I want to get it back. Will you help me? Before we set out, Hina and I decided that if Oren's plan was a bust, we'd like to see this pilgrimage through to the end. It may only be a small piece of her. But I want to bring Hina's core stone to the mana tree in her stead. An entity's core stone is its elementary essence. If we convey Hina's to the mana tree, we may stave off greater tragedy. You're forgetting that we have no idea where Oren's gone. No, no, in his evil he monologue, he said something. By now. He said something about an Elusia Isle, Thank you. I think. Didn't you say Elusia Isle? Perhaps luck is on our side today. Please. Elusia I... is the self-same island where the mana tree grows. You're already on your way. As oh. I recall, first we must scale the dead. That bodes pass. ill. I have actually the vigilant beast watch who guard the bluff. It was terrifyingly tall. Climb the cliffs? <laughs> Don't be silly. You can use the jack seed, just like all the other alms. Oh, what? The fuck's a jack seed? This special seed can swiftly grow a huge vine. Thank you. Big enough to scale the cliff. It saved the convoys a lot of time and effort on previous pilgrimages. That actually sounds you know pretty dope. standing around here for? Let's go find that lowlife Orin and get Hina's core stone back. The sooner we recover her core stone, the sooner we can continue our campaign to the mana tree and prevent any potential disasters. What about the Alms of Light and Darkness? I was about to ask about that. have been named yet, but when they are, I'll send word that they are awaited here in the capital. You can come back and fetch them. Once we're done in Elusia, we'll make sure to come back. It's not that far. As long as I've got Hina's core stone, I can fulfill my duty as the Soul Guard and safely escort all the Alms to the Mana Tree. Looks like we're headed to Elusia Isle. Well, at least he's got some of the fire back in his Hina. belly. I'll try my best. I said some. I'm certain that Hina wasn't the only alm sent on this pilgrimage with misgivings in their heart. The burden is heavy, to be sure. Now it's up to Val and the others to shoulder that burden and carry on. If only there was something else to ease their load. Do you know how to use Wait! these core stones? What, what, what is it, Father? My nine lives flashed before my eyes. I almost sent Mew all on your way without a proper introduction to my Emporium. Again, your you are a rabbit man, not a cat. Out. Make sure you're good and ready before Mew leave. Yep. Do I, do I pay you in core stones? Because really, I have been looking for a use for these. Oh, you're probably the coins. Ability seeds at item shops and other similar establishments. Neat. Ow. Oh. oh, here we go. Good. Might as well make Don't know why it took that long. Situation, I guess. Welcome. Uh, sort of we get ooh, seeds, beautiful. Four magical blades dealing slash. Cool. Take one. Thank you. Blessing of wind. Blessing of the moon. These are just protections against elements. Got it. Oh, we don't have anything to support each other? Damn. Two of vowels, but I only have one of vowels. Are these wares to your... Thank you. Yes, they are. Shut up. Stop trying to talk me out of it. Are these wares... Thank you. Uh, I'll be 
fine, I guess. Blade of Scepter and Sigil. Oh! Increase class strike damage by 30%. Went up 100%. Got it. Okay. Rock crash. Just throw big rocks. I like throwing big rocks. Oh, I can summon things? Hell yeah. That's kind of cool. Need to get more cornerstones, apparently. Uh, none of these quite strike me as good, except for this one. Blade and Scepter Sigil. Yeah, that's pretty huge. Please come again. Uh, how's everybody uh -huh. doing? You know, I always wondered what kind of business the place ran. Yeah, it's a bunch of seeds. It's great. Right. Perfect. All right, team. Uh, what are we? Uh, our party makeup gonna be? I don't think I have a. I don't have another spear job for Karina, do I? I don't really have a magic person right now. If I put Moon on her, she becomes much more of a physical fighter. What do you do with Moon powers again? Magic attack up. Not nearly as much as when she's wind. Defensive. Give her that. Physically so, at least. Uh... Yeah, right. Might as well. How are we doing on multiple plots, everybody? Not, like, super great. Well, it is good to know that this is also a uh, spear-based class, so if I ever want to make her watery, that is an option. Ooh! I can make Val Wind, which also has Beak Sword. How Dark Knight adjacent is it? It's a little bright. We'll go with it. Um, and then... We can do Mercury Prism Power. And since... Since the blue is you Since uh, water is usually dragon-themed, this should make her a right proper Dragoon. Closest we've had so far, honestly. Yeah, Dragon Master, hell yeah. She's definitely more geared toward physical attack, which, again, I need, another, I need a new spear for that to really kick in. And then... You can be the Nightblade. It actually has more attack than the Nomad, when I'm looking at it.
is definitely more of a uh, physical powerhouse than the Nomad. Exactly what I want. There you go, edgy boy. Get to it. Uh, I do have one more spot open. Spikes. Spike, 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 spike. Mm. I'm gonna take Thunderbolt off and instead give her. Alright, now, now her, I definitely need to get a new weapon, because that is, I believe, the weapon she started with, and that's not a great look. Elusia Isle is still a long way off. I should take stock of my item and gear situation. I can't fail in my soul guard duty. Not again. Not again. It's time for the Punished Val arc. Just gonna add as many descriptors to him as possible to emphasize the fact that he's now a sad boy. What will it be? Uh, I need your, I need your biggest spear, sir. Just that one. Will that be all? Yeah. Okay. Much appreciated. I'm gonna regret that, I'm sure, but here we are. Those aren't too much better. I do kind of want that. So why is it showing him as a duelist? He's a rune knight right now. I think that's it. Oh, armor. I haven't upgraded armor in a while either. Is armor important? Armor might be important. Let's double check to see what they have on the offer. Welcome. Please peruse what we have. Ah, we'll get the next one. Again, after all these uh, incidents where I buy something and then find it later on, I have trust issues now. Time to get on the road again. Hell yeah. Okay, everyone. I guess the Dead A Cliffs are our first stop. Correct. From Ilistana, we must go by way of Arvet's pasture. We should see the cliffs once we cross Dura Gorge. Sounds like we got a lot to go. The Beast Watch keeps an eye on the area around the cliffs. Without their protection, the one route to the mana tree could be overrun. The Watch is all beast folk like you, right, Morley? In the same way that the Soul Guard always hails from Tiania, the greatest warriors of Etern are chosen for the Beast Watch ranks. Also, the whole world has their parts to play in the rejuvenation of mana. Now it's time for us to play ours. Well then, lead the way, Mr. Soul Guard. I'll try. Hmm. I'm still very sad. Hmm. Taren. That's good. I'm glad your people weren't entirely wiped out. I have seen a few beastmen around, actually. There were some on the boat. And port. Speaking of port, I do need to go back to the port. Actually, let's let's backtrack a little bit, guys. I gotta... Some stuff I gotta do. Arvid's pasture supplies food to the whole world. 
Its vast, lush fields are abundantly fertile. Though peaceful now, in the past, people fought over this very land. Yeah, that sounds right. Or if it's war, right? I remember Hina reading historical accounts, and... Oh, Hina my... was quite the ravenous reader, was she not? Oh, made myself sad again, you guys. I'm gonna go mope in that corner for like five minutes. Just give, 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 me, give, me, give me some time. No, Just we can go. fields and farms as far as the eye can see, huh? A familiar sight. It reminds me of Milpa's ranch. Imagine having to plow this whole pasture. The caretakers here rely on the capital and the blessings of the spirits to cultivate their crops. Yeah, I'd imagine so for a yes. farmland this huge. You guys don't have modern conveniences yet. Let's plan our next move. All right. Let's go back to Ledgus Bay. There are more side quests here, too. Because, of course, there are. It's like every expansion with Final Fantasy XIV. You want another 137 side quests? No, Final Fantasy XIV, I didn't. Here's another 147 side quests. Oh, okay. I'm looking for a house key. Oh, God. Thanks, ma'am. Oh, it's worried this could be a problem. Not while I'm here. What do you need, sir? Well, my son says he fished it out of the water. I've got caught in a fishing net or something. Found it a while back, but kept it on a boat until just recently. In Legus, we believe that anything the sea brings to us is an auspice from our patron elemental undine. We treat it like treasure. I had to go back out to sea, so we left the bottle in my care. I don't look at it. Yeah, a piece of paper rolled up inside. You want to open it? All right, let's take a look. See, hmm. not just any old paper. It's a letter. Yeah, I guess it'd be rude not to read it. I am weak and sickly, and since I cannot play outside like the other children, I spend my days indoor alone. I have no friends. Oof, sad. I used all my courage to write this letter, so if someone somewhere is reading it, would you like to be my friend? That oh, looks like a child's handwriting. Huh. Doubt this kid would want to be friends with some random old geezer like me. Wait, what am I saying? Frank could be a friend no matter the age difference. It must be a sign from Undyne. Well, can't just ignore a child's plea. I'll write him back, let him know I've got a friend in me. All right, I should do it. You should take this bottle to the beach at Pretty Ridge and release it into the ocean. I could just try and find them. Nope. Let the ocean take care of it. I. Putting a lot of faith in the ocean. Just, just take, hey. just do me a favor and yeet this into the sea for me, kid. Have you ever touched a Labid wing? Or a Ladeeb? Ladeeb. My apologies. They're super soft and great material for clothing. They're also totally in vogue right now. If I had some Ladeeb wings, I'd make a dress using them. If you come across any, mind sending them my way? Got it. Okay. Bee wings. Sweet! This is the best catch I've had in a while. Oh, I know. I can whip up one of my signature dishes, classic Ledger Seafood Stew. Wait a second. Do I even have the rest of the ingredients? Nope. It's like I'm fresh out. Hey, kid, you got a minute? Mind going on a quick grocery run for me? <clears throat> a 
Okay, I know two of these places. I don't know what Cassia Moors is. Jumble beans, trasparagus, and piquant parsley. Sure thing, ma'am. Just uh, know that it is not a priority. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else around here? No? Sick. Out to Pretty Ridge, because I know I've got a couple things to grab there. Let's rest up. Uh, oh, oh, there are a lot of things that either have become available or I missed one or t'other. Well, I suppose I do have the water vessel now. That stands to reason. Actually, you know what? I hope you're all enjoying yourselves. If you are, let me know down below if I like, comment, subscribe, and we'll come back next time and round up Pretty Ridge. Until then, you know, I'm subscribe to stay. I'll see you next adventure. Taking this? Just remember, just gonna be side quests. <laughs> Later.